YouTube is playing with me right now. Hey, Daniel. I don't know. I might be live. I might not be live. But if I am live, here's the intro. up y'all if you don't know who i am hey my name is Nadja, aka the booty child i don't know what this stream light looked like when i got on here i am so sorry i haven't been on this channel live streaming in some weeks so maybe that's why it's tripping but yeah my bad hopefully it's not too sour when we start but as you guys can see it is halloween i got my pajamas on like i just wanted to have like a really chill stream with you guys and just like read some scary stories and have a nice little scare sesh um but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to do today now today i am going to be reading some of the shorter stories and then next stream when i have an actual freaking costume on we're going to be reading the longer ones and i'm probably going to end up doing like around a two hour stream but i'm dropping my conspiracy theory video this weekend and i just wanted to you know give y'all a live stream because i haven't been live in some time so here we are now like i said this is a live so we got the chat here what is up guys i see you thank you so much for the compliments on my makeup it's actually a spider and a web hold on let me see um yeah it's a spider and a web thank you so much thank you thank you thank you everybody yes y'all i'm so excited so yeah we got five stories before i get into it i am gonna do some housekeeping okay so if anybody is interested we still have our calendars on sale okay we do have the new i'm just gonna show you guys the print for october because i mean shoot as the months go on i mean it's not like it's gonna be much of a secret but this is the print for october and each calendar has a spot for your notes. Um, it shows when the uh, sun is going to be in Scorpio. You know, when we move over from Libra season. Um, it also has like Halloween, little stuff like that. Um, it's still going to be free shipping, but instead you're going to get like a whole Halloween candy pack and stuff like that. Um, and I am going to be doing a giveaway with one of these as well. But I also have other stuff, as y'all see. We got canvases, prints. All of that. So if you guys, you know, don't want to donate during the stream because you guys do not have to donate. I really appreciate when you do, but you don't have to. If you would rather have like a physical item in exchange for supporting me, I totally get it. Head over to my site. You can help me out that way, you know. So today's stories, let's get into this. So I'm going to let you guys know what the names are. So the first one we're going to read is Halloween Tribe Tea, They Touched My Arm. I was just talking to Daniel about this. Like, do not physically manifest in front of me and touch me, sir or ma'am. No. <laughs> the second one is spooky story time. My mom is scared of a ghost. Rightfully so. And the third one is hauntings at work. Now, see, with that, I know some of y'all are probably like, girl, if you don't quit. Girl, if you don't quit and cut it out. Like, what are we doing right now? You talking about ghosts at the restaurant? Yeah, no. No, 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 ma'am. Then we have spook, Spooky Tribe Tea. He did what? Then the last one is Paranormal Story Time. That's all they're letting us know, okay? I'm excited. Shout out to all of you guys for being so freaking patient for me getting to your stories. I know I say that all the time, but when it comes to holiday specific stories, I really appreciate your patience because that's like a year round. You got to wait because nobody don't want to hear no damn Halloween story on Easter. We don't. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being patient. And if you do have a longer one and you sent me one around this time, stay tuned for next week. I'm going to do a longer one next week when, when the kid got her costume, you know. <laughs> she got her costume on. 
Oh my gosh. What is up, y'all? I'm, I'm so glad you guys are in here. It has been a hot minute, and I'm so glad y'all are here, man, because I missed y'all. I really did. I really did. I didn't think this many of y'all would be here after I've been gone for so long. YouTube is a scary place when you take mental health breaks. YouTube can be pro mental health all they want with these better help sponsorships, but um, somebody's lying. <laughs> someone's lying but hey i do appreciate you too for pushing my jeanette mccurdy video because i that yeah thank you for that um I'm waiting on them to push my shia labeouf video better yet if you're watching this go watch my conspiracy video if i posted it because i spent a long time on that too and oh and just so you know my conspiracies are not the norm of what you see we don't got no anti-semitism no none of that bs no um hebrew israelite stuff like i'm not one of those people like no Shane Dawson, my conspiracy video is about to be good. So y'all might want to turn those notifications on if you already don't have them on, okay? Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, enough of me rambling. Let me get into the first story. It is called, Halloween tried tea, they touched my arm. Oh, yes, I do got Mr. Bones with me. Don't play. <laughs> so, hey, Nadja. I know it may be too late, but I was watching one of your spooky tribe teas, and it reminded me of the reason why I never sleep with my arms hanging off of the bed or the couch. Girl, I already know what's about to happen. Have any of y'all ever done that as a kid before? Like, I've done that on purpose before as a kid because I was just curious to see if it really worked. So, like, if you all the blood goes to your arm and then you just, like, can't move, like, I don't know. Am I the only weird kid that did that? Let me know in the chat if you also would, like, lay, put, put your arm over the bed and it would just be dead. And then you would just be, like, noodle arm like that. <laughs> Were we that bored as kids? Like, that was our entertainment? Oh, my gosh. Y'all, are you kidding me? Like, I should do SFX makeup. Like, Where's her pupil? Nowhere. Like, what? Let me calm down. I'm feeling myself too much. But let me know. Did anybody else do that? Because I did do that before. Now. Now I am 24 years old, and this may have happened at least 12 years ago. It was the summer, and my mom had to go to work. But before she left, she told me my niece was supposed to be coming over for the day. And at this time, well, I mean, she's always going to be four to five years younger than me. So at the time, she was seven or eight years old, right? Oh, and by the way, I see y'all chat. Okay, so yeah, we was all we was all uh, waiting for, the, for our, the blood to go to our arm as children. Okay, so we're, we're just a bunch of weird kids. But... So you about to chill with your niece. Okay, okay, bet. So you were one of those people that had a niece or a nephew that was pretty much like your sibling or cousin, like, because y'all the same age. Pretty common, pretty common, you know, I'm not... You know, I'm not saying anything, but interesting. So, while waiting for her to come over, I fell asleep with my arm hanging off the couch. Sometime during that, I woke up to... Okay, see, now this is... <laughs> I have my arm hanging off the couch. Sometime during that time, I wake up to a child's hand being laid on my wrist so as their arms dangling a little hand i would have get off be like what are we doing? <laughs> thinking it was my niece i woke up a little bit and said go sit down and turned my head over and went back to sleep when i woke up a while later my niece was not there I went to my grandma's room to ask if she had been there and gone home while I was asleep. And she said that my niece hasn't even arrived yet. My stomach dropped because I knew someone touched my arm and it felt like a child's hand. But I didn't say anything about it. To be honest, if I'm scared enough about paranormal activity, I will force myself to block it out so I don't have to deal with it. I mean, hey, I don't blame you. So when I was 15, we moved, and that's when my mom decided to tell me about the children who died on the property. B 
this happened way before our ex-landlord built the house we were in. He had a trailer on that property. He had two small children around seven or eight years old. One day they left the kids alone to run an errand or something and the dryer caught on fire. Oh my God. <gasps> How y'all got a dryer in a trailer? What type of deluxe? Okay. Am I being ignorant? Y'all got dryers and trailers? I mean, shoot, I've been seeing y'all on TikTok buying them trailers, uh, y'all. I mean, I'm talking about my age group. I mean, shoot, any way to get land, I, I feel you. I I'm asking a genuine question. Y'all got laundry in there? Right, multiple children. How are the children? Man, look. Man, look. The kids died in the fire. I told her about the little hand touching my wrist, and she went, it was probably the kids trying to reach out. She says she never told me until we moved because she did not want to scare me. And she was right, because I would not have known the rest if she has told me while I was still in that damn house okay and y'all said they do got dryers in there okay bet damn that is really unsafe to put a dryer in such a small space though even if it is a double wide like that's not that much space for the ventilation to happen they probably weren't cleaning the lint out too well damn the house we moved into wasn't any better. It was my great grandma's house and she left it to my mom after she and her husband died. My great grandmother, her partner, her friend, and my grandmother all lived in that house and have passed from old age and sickness. I have had way too many experiences to the point that I said, I love y'all, but please don't check on me. I am scared. <laughs> No, like, for real, like, I get what you're saying. So, basically, the house that you're in now, multiple of your ancestors have passed, and now you're scared. Well, I'm here to let you know you should not be scared of your own ancestors. Those are your people. They know you. They're a part of you. They are you on the other side. Like, nothing to be scared about. My advice to you, though, and anybody else watching is, if you would like to communicate with your ancestors and stuff, tell them, tell them how. Tell them how you feel most comfortable. If you don't like people touching you and popping up physically appearing, let them know that. Say like, hey, I, I, I could handle smells, maybe seeing a bird outside, you know, like stuff like that. I don't want to be touched. So that is my little story. I always sleep with my arms tucked in like this. <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for listening to my story. I hope it wasn't too long. I love your channel and I hope you continue to grow and succeed. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I'm going to put you guys on the screen here. Do you guys think it was a ghost or not? Nah? I do think that it was because what are the odds? You didn't even know. And there was a child, two children that actually passed on that property. That is eerie. I think that that was some legit stuff. And your niece wasn't even there. I think it was legit. I really do. All right, let's see. Let's see what y'all got to say. Um, Hannah says, waking her up in the middle of the night to play spades. <laughs> Here y'all go. <laughs> oh my God. Magic Huddy says, they be helping you for real. So don't be scared. No, really, like, don't be scared. Just communicate what you feel comfortable with. It will follow. It will follow. And if you start smelling like uh, like eggs, like rotten eggs, that's usually like a universal sign that your ancestors are like, you're not listening to us. We have nothing else to do but to hit all your senses. Your taste buds, your nose, your eyes watering. We're going to hit you with the eggs. <laughs> oh, my God. Sienna says, it for sure has to have been the kids. Just no respect for people sleeping. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're going to build some on top of the thing. Oh, the dino said, yes. I tell my ancestors, don't be coming at me in real life or touching me. Talking about they do it another way. They were talking about what did I walk into today? Some spooky stuff. Some spooky stuff. Um, shout out to AJ. Thank you so much for, for stopping by. I know the notifications are a little stale mail. Um, but yeah. Hey, Nayala, what's up, girl? How you doing? Hey. Talking about, damn, I didn't even realize I was in the live, child. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all can funnel on in. We're only one story in, and the other ones are pretty short. 
Um, I'm about to start on the second one, but I feel like we're all kind of like on agreement. So that was because what I like to do is I like to plan out what could be a reasonable, you know, reaction or a reasonable thing of why this could happen. I don't know. Maybe you were in between sleep. I don't know. But you said you woke up and spoke and then went back to sleep. So I don't I don't know. And the baby hand. I don't know. Yeah, they got that shit. They got it. They got that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that one. We're going to move on to is my mom scared of a ghost? Shoot, probably. <laughs> so, hey, Naja. My name is Jasmine. I am a Sagittarius and I am 20 years old. Shout out to all the Sagittarius in the chat. Make sure you drop your sign. My sister's sign. What's up, Sagittarius? So this is actually the first story I sent in. Well, congrats, you have made it. Hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully the story is short. Sorry if I make any grammar mistakes. Now, this is my mom's story. I wish it was her telling it because the way she explains it is 10 times better, especially because she explains it in Spanish. So it just sounds way better in Spanish. <laughs> but let's just cut to the chase. When I was younger, my little sister and I used to share a room with my mom. This night, my mom had been up reading Bible verses, doing some studying. For some reason, as she was reading, she heard and seen her door slowly open and saw a small figure. Here's my thing. I'm going to read this, but from somebody who also has a um, dramatic Latina mother, um... I don't know because I, I don't know. My mom is not like the traditional sense. My mom is very, 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 very New york Like she's very American. Like you get what I'm saying? So she doesn't do like a lot of the little stuff like this, like studying your Bible. Like this is so cute, like studying your Bible and stuff. Like, but these be the moms, the one that church went and these be the moms. I'd be like, oh, I had a dream. No, don't go out. I had a dream. Don't go out. I saw you dead. I had a dream. Don't go outside. Oh, oh, no. Like, girl, girl, I'm going to keep reading it. But look, she saw a little baby figure open the door. She thought that the small figure was my older brother because they had their own room, which was down the hall. So my mom yelled at the figure, go to sleep. Why are you up? The figure slowly started closing the door and my mom noticed that the figure was too small to be my brother's. That's what I'm saying, an older brother. It looked more like a little girl and she thought it was me and my sister, but she noticed we were asleep. The figure closed the door shut. I honestly don't know what happened after that, but it definitely was not my brother's and it was not me or my sister. My mom did say she continued doing her Bible reading right after and also said she has never seen the specific ghost or spirit it was again. Maybe she scared it off. I don't know. I even asked my mom if she thought it was an evil entity and said, and she said she didn't think so. But my mom is a super tough woman who isn't afraid of spirits or ghosts at all, period. My mom has the craziest stories and always seen spirits in her country. She's even seen giant people. Oh my God, I'm scared. Because see, that's one of them little conspiracy things or it's like it can get really mixy because some of these freaking, you know what letter of the alphabet, Anon people always make it anti-Semitic. So there is, you know, the whole attack on Titan. At one point there were, you know, we got all these uh, bones of human beings that were like huge, giant people. Y'all can look it up. There are tons of theories online about these giant people all over. Um, but that's really interesting. That's really interesting. When she moved to America, my grandmother's house was super haunted and physically had ghost spirits tickle her while she would be in bed. Mind you, she shared a bed with four older sisters, but it was never them. My mom's siblings also saw and dealt with spirits too. But anyways, thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this story. It's not the craziest story, but I hope the tribe enjoyed. Well, thank you so much for sending it. I'm going to put um, the chat on the screen, but I'm going to tell you what I think about this. I think 
that my personal belief is when you believe in something strong enough, no matter what it is, no matter what religion or spiritual practice that you practice, if you believe in something enough, it can actually physically manifest in this 3D realm. I really do feel like your mother reading her Bible and affirming and studying, because that's what studying is, is we're just affirming our thing over and over and over and over. I feel like it scared whatever entity that was, because whatever it was, it was not welcome. She just said, go to sleep. Why are you up? Imagine if you dead, you're like, damn, I, maybe I should go to bed. <laughs> Why am I up roaming around? Like, I really do feel like, yeah, I, I, I feel like that was some real deal. And just to let y'all know, if you're new here, it takes something, it, it, I don't know. I'm really open to paranormal stuff. So I'm just, I always give stuff the benefit of the doubt. Um, that, Al Charles said the trends for the story so far are telling baby ghosts to go to fuck to sleep. I know that's right. Like you need to go to bed eternally, eternally, forever. Go to the dark place, <laughs> go to the light. Oh my gosh. Everybody's like, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, right. I would be so scared. The fact that she's not scared, that's how you know she's been dealing with it her whole life. Right, the ghost playing t tickle wars and stuff. Don't, do not tickle me. Don't touch me. Don't breathe in my ear. Like, no. I've had one of those before where it was just like, it felt like someone just went, ah, like that in my ear. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Right, that's what I'm saying. I feel like, um, who said that? Banane? When you be like, hold on. When you be like, get out my house. Get out of my Caucasian home. They don't got no choice. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Tell them real quick with the quickness. This is my house. So yeah, I definitely think your mom done banished something to the freaking shadow realm that night. I don't know what the fuck that was about. <laughs> But let me know um, in the comments if you guys have had any similar stories or if you have any family members who are like really, really spiritual and then they move to, you know, the capitalist hellscape of America and, you know, um, but yeah, I'd be really interested. I love hearing about different um, spiritual practices from other countries. I love hearing about indigenous stuff. Like, you know, I love appreciating some good, some good other um spirituality religious stuff uh and i'm not gonna get too too deep we could talk on the pod about it but like you know in america a lot of things were force fed to a lot of certain people and like you know i've just been really open to you know other things you know but yes he definitely got banished to the shadow realm little baby ghost all right let's move on to the work story i've been wanting to talk about this one since i saw it because I couldn't imagine. I'm just thinking like the haunted coffee maker child. So, hauntings at work. Hey, Naja. Lady Mac here. I think I sent this to the wrong email. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have been following you for a couple of years. Oh, well, thank you so much for the constant support. I always appreciate y'all sticking with me for the long haul and going through the YouTube train because I'm not one of them YouTubers that, you know, blow up overnight. So, it just means a lot to me that when y'all stick around. So, they said they've been following me for a few years, but I never really had anything paranormal to send in until now. I know by the time you get this, spooky season might be over. It has just begun. It has just begun. But I think you guys will enjoy this story. It's not terrifying, but I think it's a nice little testament to how haunted the South truly is. Now, that is some tea. We have a lot of haunted stuff here in the south just because of, like i said earlier people were forced to do certain things because of certain time periods yeah so last year i used to work at a restaurant slash bar in an old small town in virginia no ma'am no ma'am you could not pay no that is isn't virginia like the most haunted in the united states let me know. The, from what I've heard, it's like the Virginians is like the most haunted on the East Coast. Fact check me. But I ain't going to know Virginia nothing. Shout out to all of y'all that stay in Virginia, but I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Y'all gonna have to miss me with that one. We gonna have to meet somewhere else. Meet me in the Carolinas somewhere. I don't know, girl. Well, I guess Virginia would be like DM. Let me shut up. Okay, so Virginia... <laughs> She said she worked at a small town in Virginia right down the road from an old Confederate cemetery. Yeah, I'm scared. It was a cemetery in a churchyard that has people buried from the early to mid 1700s. My bar was downtown, so all of the buildings were kind of built right next to each other, connected by a cool passageway of basements and underground walkways. What in the catacombs? Look... I wouldn't, I don't know. Because I'm sure you want to work there because it brings a lot of tourists so you can get more money. But it's like, I'm scared. Anyway, during probation, no, during, during probation, child. <laughs> during the prohibition, the people in the town used the basement passageways as a system for bootlegging alcohol and drugs. Well, there have been records of people being murdered or accidentally killed in the passageways as recently as a decade or two ago. So, of course, our bar downtown would have been haunted AF. And girl, it was. We kept all of our extra drinks and food and kegs in the basement. Oh, hell no. We would have to do rock, paper, scissors every shift. Every shift, best two out of three. I'm not going down there. And I know this would be my job, but you can't pay me to go down there. Like, oh. Anyway, oh my God. We kept all the extra food and drinks and kegs in the basement. Even in the dead of summer, it would always be cold as hell down there. And there was an obvious presence. Glasses would be pushed with force off tables when the restaurant was empty. Plates and glasses would crack or fly right in front of the customers. Oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my bad. I just got a text. Um, I'm just in shock. So like the entity was so strong that it could physically pick things up and throw it at people. Did you see it? Sometimes we would hear whispers, like someone was having a full blown conversation while we're opening and closing and no one is there. Lights would randomly turn off and on, same with the music. I once heard my name called, look, see, look. It's given as below, so below. They're about to drag you to hell, girl. What is going on? Like, I would be like, look, y'all need to do something about this building. Y'all need to do something. Y'all need to call the priest. Y'all need to tear it down. Y'all need to do something because this is interfering with what we're in. And then how, and I know probably it's making more customers come to the restaurant. So they're probably never going to do anything. Like, y'all need to have a seance, light some candles and tell them to go to get some rest because, golly. I once heard my name being called when I was the only one in there. We would feel taps on our shoulders or our hands, on our backs, like someone was trying to get our attention. There were two ghosts specifically that we definitely knew of. An older man who was probably a bootlegger back in the day and a girl who we think is around the age of 12. I think the girl was from the 1700s because the churchyard I mentioned has a lot of families and young children buried there and none of the graves are dated after 1860, I believe. It's a very old town. Damn. If it's so old and you're interested, I would just look up history on the building. I bet you you could find out exactly who these people are wandering the halls and you could freaking release their spirit or something. I don't know. Maybe I've watched too much TV. But what the hell? I think we, we think, her and her coworkers, we think the man was the one who would be breaking and throwing things. But the little girl stays hidden in the basement and just watches us while we're down there. 
I don't think any of the spirits in the basement passageways are dangerous, but it was an eerie feeling most of the time. Just like somebody is always watching you. The restaurant is even on our town's haunted locations tour. I told you. Because I live near St. Augustine and they do the same thing. If you have a property that has tons and tons and tons of report of constant physical apparatuses like paranormal stuff, the uh, local government's going to profit off of it. They're going to market it. They're going to tell people, hey, everybody, come see this little dead girl in our basement. Like, I swear to you. This 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 whole like sickness of like not caring about the dead did not start with the Dahmer and all that stuff. Like, look. Also, when I went in for my interview, the first thing the manager asked me was, are you afraid of ghosts? Child. LMAO, I said no. And he said, okay, good. Well, I'll give you the tour. I guess a lot of people quit because of the presences. So, but... <laughs> I just quit because the job sucked. <laughs> Hope you're having a great week. Love to you and the tribe. Thanks so much for sending that in. That is crazy. Here, I'm going to open up the chat, see what y'all got to say. I do believe that this place is haunted. And I feel like as time goes on, less and less things will start happening. Only because when I've noticed when people try to capitalize the unknown it's the unknown for a reason you don't know when anything's gonna happen you know man but look i feel you out says what i who said that baby girl baby girl lexi that's exactly what i thought too they actually asked they were like hey bro are you good and you said yes i would have been like no i'm not i'm not i'm not okay with this um, let's see hannah says run that ghost of fate square up with them look i would start throwing uh, cups back like look what we're not about to do mm -mm. man look I just don't know what I would do if every time I had to go to like prep for work I go in the basement and I feel little baby eyes watching me little dead baby eyes what's up with all the dead babies today oh my god Oh my God. Casey says, do not mess with the ghost girl. She will want to play peekaboo. That's what I was thinking too. Don't be playing with them. Don't. I would just act like I don't even see him. Look, Hannah says, I would have snatched my resume back so fast. <laughs> Miss Makeda said, a bag is a bag. <laughs> Shelby said, I don't care if it's friendly. I got to go. GG. And yeah, Mio, these ghosts are very disrespectful. That's what I'm like. Look, except for the little girl scared for her little little life, her undead life. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't think they took them seriously either. And then you start working there and you're like, well. Not you said you gotta start rapping Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Do a quick little exorcism <laughs> real quick. Just a little at home exorcism. -y. Nothing trippy, nothing crazy. Oh my gosh, let me know if any of you guys, I saw some of y'all trying to clock where she works, guys, or where she used to work. I know she don't work there no more, so it don't matter, but guys, don't, 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 don't be weird, um, but not saying, just, just don't be weird, not saying y'all would do anything, but don't be weird if somebody says where they work and y'all clock it, but she did say she don't work there no more, but I, it looks like some of y'all probably know where she's at. So shout out to all my Virginia tribe members, bro. Meet up and meet up and have a good old time together. Have a have a haunted beer on me. <laughs> but I'm interested. Is that bad? Girl, I'm just saying that because I'm sitting here safe in Florida. Tell me I'm interested. I'll be scared as hell. Like what? Uh, well, let me know if any of you guys have ever worked at like a haunted establishment. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm going to do one more because I just got a text that my freaking appointment is coming 30 minutes earlier than I thought. So I'm going to just do one more. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. But I got to handle some business. You guys will know what I'm doing in the future. Everything will make sense. But right now, I cannot talk about it online. Um, story time coming soon. Story time movie coming soon. Anyway, we're about to get to this last spooky story it is called spooky tribe t he did a what and this is from an og shout out to you 
Hello again, Naja. So it's me, the Taurus grandma of the tribe. Love you so much. And with another spooky story. I also sent in the East Central Illinois apartment spooky story. And this happened while I was there. I don't remember that, but I do know who you are because you are the tribe grandma who had, was dating that dude who likes to dress up as a puppy. I will never forget that. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well and I pray for abundance and prosperity for all of the tribe members. Thank you so, 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 so much. I really need that right now. I really appreciate you. And I hope the same to you as well. And your, and your um, lover, lover boy as well. So this story happened one night as I was on my way home from work and I worked a second shift at a group home and was in my car after our shift briefing. So I would say it was about 15 minutes after midnight. I'm sitting at a stoplight waiting for the light to turn green so I can make a left turn. As I look, there is a tall blonde haired guy to my left waiting to cross. He started walking and about halfway through the intersection, this man disappeared. This, this man was there and as he's walking fades like I was so glad I was the only car on the road because I sat there looking like I was trying to catch flies for a full light cycle trying to process what I just seen there's really nothing more to say it's really short and sweet but it just really scared me I hope you guys have a great day <laughs> Honestly, truly, I would have been scared as hell. I would have been scared as hell because if I'm physically seeing a solid, like, because that's what we're solids, if I physically see a solid turn to mist, I need, I'm, I can't. I cannot. I can't. I can't. I wouldn't even be over there no more. I, I would have to go home and be like, did somebody die from a hit and run over here or something? Like, I'm that type of person. I want to know who the ghost is, bro. Like, I want to know, am I tripping? Or is, was this a real person in this real realm at one point? Or am I tripping? I would have been scared as hell. <laughs> I would have been beyond scared. F that. F that. No, ma'am. Um, yeah, thank y'all for... <laughs> Thank y'all for kicking it with me again. Sorry, I had to cut this a little short. Um, I got some people coming to my house. Uh, but I am going to come at you guys with a conspiracy video this weekend. And then we're going to be doing a two-hour stream, two-hour spooky stream next week on Wednesday. Same time, trying to hit for 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see y'all there. If you guys want your story read on this segment, whether it's a spooky story or not, Make sure you email it to tribet at shopvoodoochild.com. This email right here. And I do have some rules. So make sure you are following the rules. Okay. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, if you guys want to see me um, on any other social media and stuff. Here, where's my little handles? So I got my handles. Boom. If y'all want to see me on any other social media for the meantime, you guys can hit me up here. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, thanks again for everybody who has ordered one of these freaking calendars. And thank you to everybody who has submitted a spooky story. And I can't wait to read these comments. So I will see y'all later. Peace.